Here's the Wave Genius noon video for November 5th, 2013 on the two-day one-minute chart um, S&P. Basically, it was setting up for a C wave, and I was I was kind of worried that we get a full C wave, which targeted as low as a 1745. But it turns out, um, we we got a short C wave and a bounce. Um, intraday uh, S&P needs to hold at least uh, 1760 and then bounce over 1764.5 to set up an intraday three. Right now, it's fading a little bit, so this is really no big deal yet. Sort of bounce a little bit. Um, so yeah, if we can take out 1764.5, we can probably go positive, but we need to hold a 1760-ish to the downside if it does test that support level. Um, I do expect this these market the indices to go positive though, because of Nasdaq. Nasdaq has really came back strong, really really came back strong, and you got within a striking distance of turning positive, and I think basically it needs to hold a downside support at 3922 approximately. And then take out 39.36 to set up a three. Best case is one, two, three. If it uh, right now, I don't think it's gonna like drop down to 39.22. But say if it does drop down there, it would have to hold, hold that level and then break above 39.35 to set up number three. For the Dow, trying to bounce. It actually broke above 0.618 to the upside, which is which was 15,600. And if we can take out uh, 15,625, it would set up a uh, move to positive. S&P upside 0. 0.618 was around um, upside 0. 0.618 was around 1764, and it actually broke it by hair. So 0. 0.786 would be around 1766. The current position right now is UPro, which I bought at 83.67, and um, I'm down about 60 cents, but that's okay because I think it's, I think S&P is going to turn positive today anyway. Nasdaq again, take a look. Trying to come back and the Dow. Dow's really coming back. So I'm I'm anticipating um the um, C waves to be not um to, to be not full C waves, but um fell short of the full C wave and uh if Dow and Nasdaq S&P turned positive today it could turn it could turn parabolic today because um it could have been a flat C wave instead of a uh, um, full zigzag. And um, we broke above 0.618, and Nasdaq broke 0.786, and came close to positive. So if, if I would be surprised, if we don't turn, if we don't close positive today. That's a wrap.